Hello everybody, the Last Notion here, and for the first time in a while, we have a My Little Pony fan work to watch. At least one that I'm able to watch and like not not watch it immediately and I'm able to delay and react to it. You know what I mean, like stuff like DWK or uh, uh, Egg Roll Channel and stuff like that. I tend to be very eager to see those, so I uh, watch them before I have a chance to record. Um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, maybe in the future I'll develop that kind of patience and we'll get some Agrol and uh, Forgalorga and stuff like that on this channel. But for right now, uh, we don't have that. What we do have is we have a new animation by Brutal Weather. Now, these guys are something else entirely. Like, Forgalorga and Agrol Channel, they have their own kind of style that's fairly accurate to the show, but it has these just little differences that make it so that... Uh, it's distinctly not show accurate. Um, but Brutal Weather, from what I remember of their last one that I watched, is almost entirely show accurate. And their last animation was quite a while ago, so uh, they put in a lot of work to these ones. I do believe their last one was something about Applejack, maybe? Uh, I also I do think that Brutal Weather was the ones who did the uh, custom animation for the Scooter Tricks series in uh, their episode about Applejack. Their, um, oh god, which episode was that? Uh, just give me a second here. <laughs> Going back to season one. Uh, right, uh, the Cutie Mark, their version of the Cutie Mark Chronicles, which had uh, Applejack revealing why she, uh, why she thought they were mango trees, <laughs> which was... Way more sad than it had any right to be. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that uh, the custom animation that was featured in that episode was done by Brutal Weather. And it was really good. It was beautiful. So yeah, I'm expecting quite a bit from this little animation here. It's, it's simply called Ponyville's Incident. So, I mean, that could be literally just about anything. Incidents happen in Ponyville all the time. Um, I'm curious as to what what will feature in this? Will it feature stuff from the newer seasons, or will it be strictly um, the main six and some, like, older stuff? I don't know. Um, but I like Brutal Weather's uh, videos that I've seen. It's really good stuff. I wanted to react to this, so I'm going to react to it. So, yeah, let's uh, let's watch it. Uh, start in uh, three, two... One, play. Got the uh, logo there. Pretty nice. Oh, hey, CMCs. And they got uh, the key mark, so that's relatively new. Uh, those are the two cheerleader ponies. It almost looks like uh, the movie. <laughs> Tank, Angel, Winona, Fluttershy. Aw, oh, they're doing a little pet picnic there. <laughs> Pinky, why are you doing a Pooh Bear thing? My, uh, Winnie the Pooh thing. What the hell? Apple text stretching. <laughs> Getting ready. Rainbow. Hey. Well, damn! Oh, just missed it. And, uh... <laughs> Way to almost kill all your friends. Well, that was some Looney Tunes shit. <laughs> yeah, that's not real, not accurate to the show, but pretty funny. Oh, hey, start! <laughs> really Looney Tunes. There. Star Tricks. Oh, hey, Trixie's uh, in with the main group? That's pretty funny. So, oh god, destroy the CMC's clubhouse, why don't you? That's real nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! I think ponies just died. And he's still going. <laughs> uh, poor. Aww. The Statue of Celestia. Poor Cheerily. Uh. Metal Gear Twilight? What are you doing? That's time travel stuff. What, what's going on there? Um. <laughs> Aww, <laughs> poor Derpy. <laughs> poor Muffins. <laughs> Lyravon! Hmm. 
Ew. Oh god. <laughs> Did DJ Pwn3 just pick up Octavia? Oh god! <laughs> what the hell? Where's that going? Oh, hey mod. <laughs> uh, really, a halo sword? <laughs> well, water tower's down. <laughs> Goodbye, uh, town hall. Jeez. This is getting ridiculous. <laughs> Celestia and Raven? The best princess, wow. She's like, holy shit, is there some villain attacking? But, nope, not being bothered with it. <laughs> uh oh, castle friendship. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, that's not good. <laughs> I I saw that, uh, what, what's her name there, Screw Screwball? <laughs> Twilight's like, my, my house, again. Um, <laughs> Applejack, do you realize how long this is going to take me to fix? Oh god. Wow. <laughs> okay. That was... That was fantastic. <laughs> I forgot how much Looney Tunes stuff happens in Brutal Weather's animations. Yeah, so that that's their thing, uh... Very show accurate, though slightly higher quality, actually, I think, in terms of uh, the fluidity of it and just the level of lighting detail. I think, I don't know if they actually use the Flash animators there or if they uh, use something else entirely because it really does almost look like the movie in terms of the level of detail. Not quite in the designs, but in the level of detail, definitely. Um... <laughs> and yeah, just all the cameos. So this actually definitely takes place after season eight because Maud's living in Ponyville there. Um, it didn't show the school, which is kind of a disappointment, but maybe they just didn't have the assets for it or something. Um, also no Discord or Luna, which I was kind of hoping they would appear, but nope. Oh boy, though. <laughs> Applejack kicks a football, and the resulting fling back there just completely destroys all of Ponyville. And Celestia does not give a fuck. <laughs> That's... That was fantastic. Oh my god. And the sound effects were on point, too. They were They were great. <laughs> And, yeah, just lots of little Easter eggs like that Halo sword in the ground there. Um, and <laughs> Metal Gear Twilight. Why, why was that even a thing? That was a one-off thing from an episode in Season 2. Like, it shouldn't have happened again. But there it was. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. <laughs> I'm not even really sure what to say. I just want to keep laughing because it was funny. But, um... No, I mean, beautifully animated, as always, and the timing of everything was pretty well on point. Um, there were a couple of things that did look a little bit odd, just because they were so much more detailed, I feel like, than they usually are in the show. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I mean, just fantastic work, and what more could you really want out of a fan animation than that? Everything was great. The faces were on point. Um, I mean, Celestia's might be uh, the thumbnail there. <laughs> that face is great. Um, yeah. As for anything else on top of that, I mean... Yeah, I, I can't really think of too much else to say. It's... Uh, I mean, yeah, Applejack's buck ball is definitely paying off if she can kick the ball that hard. <laughs> um, yeah, just a nice little Looney Tunes style animation that I am almost certain is not, could not possibly be canon <laughs> in terms of uh, just the sheer level of destruction. I mean, I'm pretty sure there are some people who would, who will be reveling in the destruction of Twilight's castle. Like, yes, it's gone, finally! 
But, um, no, I, I'm fine with it. The castle. And just, uh, yeah. I mean, the second house that's been destroyed in, oh, not as many years, actually, according to my headcanon. According to my headcanon, nah. It's been quite a number of years since she got that house. But uh, just getting another house destroyed cannot be fun for Twilight. Um, I feel like there was something else, though. Just some other little thing that I wanted to mention. Um, was it something about the different ponies? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Uh, maybe, maybe it was just the fact that, uh, I don't think we've seen Raven Inkwell in the show in quite a while. Celestia's secretary there. Uh, she's, she's pretty much a common staple of, like, uh, fan fics and stuff like that. But I don't, I don't remember the last time we saw her in the show. Uh, I know she's appeared, but I don't think it was ever, like, a speaking role or anything like that, so... I don't know. I'd have to look that up, but... Yeah, uh, just nice to see her there. And the the best princess mug. That... (laughs) Um, I'm kind of hoping that that's not something Celestia got for herself, that that's something that Raven got for her. Uh, (laughs) it's like a thank you gift for whatever reason. I don't know. It was good, though. And, um... Yeah. Yeah. Twilight's Revenge Against Applejack must be terrible. But this is a Looney Tunes-esque animation, so obviously, even though ponies totally should have died during that train wreck, nobody actually got hurt. Hmm. So, uh, I think that's gonna be all for this short little one. Uh, not much to talk about in terms of, uh the story of it. It's just Looney Tunes fun. But it was great. I liked it. And I'm going to uh, move on to other things now. So I will see you all next time.